Okay, for this activity, I'm going to need your attention, okay? I'm going to need all of your attention because this is something where you're going to have to follow the instructions very carefully and we are going to do it step by step together. Now, you got two papers for maths. Either a small one like this, m for a, or ach and m for b. One that says spin and solve. Alright, that's it. Yes. So these are the papers that you received from me. M for a. I don't want you to worry about labeling that right now or about writing your name right now. But on M for B, I want you to immediately turn it around and write your name at the back. This is going to be the one that you send to me. The M for B. Good. Now we come back to M for A. So everybody meet me here with your scissors. Good. First thing we're doing, we are cutting out the spinners. Try and cut them out as neatly on the line as possible. So follow the curve of the circle and cut out these pictures, or no, not these pictures, these two circles with the numbers on them. Very carefully, do not rush. Father, follow the line as much as possible. Good, I have my one spinner. I'm cutting out the second one. Do you see how I'm cutting it? I'm opening my scissor, not all the way, but I'm opening it to a big um, angle. And then while I close it very slowly, I'm turning the paper with my other hand and I'm following the line. Okay. I'm not doing this because that's not going to give me nice smooth edges. I'm opening it and I'm slowly closing my scissor on the line while I turn the paper with my other hand to make sure that I'm following my line as perfectly as possible. If you're not finished cutting out, pause the video, finish cutting out, and then you can come back to me. I am going to get started with the next part of this activity. Good. The next thing is, you can either go find a toothpick, uh, one of those sasati sticks, those long wooden sasati sticks, whatever you want. I'm going to use my pencil. Okay, now I'm taking one of my spinners and very carefully, I'm just checking because it is a bit see-through, very carefully, very gently, I just pierce the tip, tip, tip. Look at how very small that is, hold on. Look at how very small I pushed it through. I'm not putting my entire pencil through, just a very small tip I put through so that I can balance my spinner. Okay, so I have my spinner on the very top of my pencil. Now, what I'm going to do, let me just put it this way, is I'm going to put my scissors here. Do you see this part? I'm putting my scissors here. I'm now going to spin this. It's not going to spin perfectly, grade two. I'm going to tell you that now. So don't expect it to go because that's not gonna happen. I'm just going to 
gently turn my paper. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm gently going to turn my spinner and I'm going to see what number lands here where my <coughs> scissors are pointing. So I'm closing my eyes and here I go. All right, cool. I spun my paper or I turned my paper to land on 82. Do you see that? <coughs> the point of my scissor is pointing to 82. So that is my first number. My first number then in my first block is 82. Now I'm taking the second one, the second one that does not have the hole yet, and I'm very carefully putting my pencil into it. Look again, it's a very, very small point that I'm showing to point out. I'm not tearing my entire paper apart. Now I have my spinner, I'm putting my pointer down. And I'm closing my eyes and I'm very gently just going to spin it very gently. I can feel it hooked out. So let me just put it back in very gently and okay. exactly on the line okay uh, let me okay I'm going to choose this one 67 okay that's the one that I landed on 67 so now my second um, number in this one is 67 and now I solve my problem Remember, we start with our units first. This would be our units and our tens. And remember, on place value street, we always walk from right to left. So, 2 plus 7, we start with the right side first. 2 plus 7 is 9. 8 plus 6 is... Uh, this brings me to something. Yesterday, while I was marking some of your regrouping um, worksheets, I noticed that you guys do not know your bonds as well as I thought you did or as well as yeah for example seven plus four you guys would sometimes write 13 or nine plus six you guys would sometimes write 17 or 12 you have to go study your bonds my sweethearts it's very important eight plus six is 14 okay so we have our four they don't give us another house, so I write the teen in front. That means 82 plus 67 is 149. Good, let's do another one. If you want, what you can do at the back of your spinners is write number one <coughs> and your name. Actually, I would prefer this. And number two and your name. I don't want the spinners back, so don't worry about that. It's just for you to know. Now I'm taking my first spinner for my first number. I'm putting down my scissors. <coughs> Good. And now I'm closing my eyes. And I'm actually, I'm going to try and spin it from the middle so that it does not lose its balance. I'm just going to do this a few times. Da -da 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 Da. And I landed on, okay, 23. Cool. So, the first number will be 23. Now I take my second spinner. Okay. Pencil. Spinner. Right. And here I go. I'm putting both of my fingers on either side of the pointy part and I'm just... My thumb is at the bottom and I'm spinning, spinning, spinning. My eyes are closed, my eyes are closed. Spin, 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 stop. 25, cool. So the second number will be 25. And now I do my sum. 
3 plus 5 gives me, remember, units, tens. Start with my units first. 3 plus 5 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. I'm going to do one more with you. <coughs> and then I want you to fill in all of these blocks by yourself, by using your spinner, and then you solve your sum. If you have a toothpick, it would actually be quite nice because a toothpick you could push like I want to say halfway through and then it would kind of work like a top do you guys know what a top is do you call it a top in English what do you call it <coughs> I think you call it a top in English as well which is where I, I thought about doing it with a pencil as well which is where you take the top but see see yeah it won't work with a pencil but the, which is where you take the top and then you literally spin it and it goes like that. Because it's paper, it might not hold up well, but you can always just ha hold it in your hands and do one spin or something like that. But if you only have a pencil, then just do it my way. This also works. So we are putting our scissor here. You have to have something as an arrow because otherwise you can just spin it and you will never know which number it landed on. So I have my number one. And now I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to spin. Okay, spin, 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 spin. My eyes are closed. Here we go. And I landed again. Wait, I already had 23. So I'm going to choose another number. Oh, I already had 82. Miss it a bit. What am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha! Huh, something I haven't had. 36. Good. 36 <coughs> will be my first number. Now I'm going to take my second spinner. Put it down. I have my arrow. And I'm going to spin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only counting to see if I can't work something out you don't have to count you can just do it as many times as you want 44 good I have not had 44 yet try and get different numbers if possible so 44 and now I do my sum I'm putting my tens and units at the top because it makes it easier for me to know which one to start with and just to keep um, in mind and to keep my numbers in the correct place value houses um, it's not necessary to do that if you can do it by yourself, but t putting your um, sums in your place value houses always just makes it so much easier to solve. So, 6 plus 4 gives me 10. The 0 from the 10 I leave at the bottom because that's the unit. If we look at the number 10 and we put it in our houses, the 0 is the unit, so the 0 stays here. The 1 is the 10, so the 1 goes in the attic. 3 plus 4 gives me 7, plus the 1 in the attic gives me 8. That is one more note that I wanted to say in last week's regrouping videos. You guys solved the, the, the sums beautifully, but you didn't show me how you did it. You didn't show me you crossed out this number when you borrowed, and then this is what was left. Um, or you didn't put the numbers in the attics. If you can do it that way without writing it down, that is fine, grade two, but I would like to see it. I, Mrs. E oh, Mrs. Since when did, am I mar married? My word. Okay, me as Miss It's a Bit, I would like to see the numbers in the attics or like tomorrow we're doing a borrowing exercise. I would like to see you cross that one out, what is left and so so that I can see that you understand the process step by step. Okay, so it's important for me that you show me that. You go fill in these ones now with your spinners. You can go test it out. Send me a picture if you found a really cool way of getting your little paper to spin. Um, this is actually really, really fun. So you can always go back to that for your regrouping practice. You can even do that for your um, subtraction practice. Just remember, the first number must always be bigger 
as a whole than the bottom number. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. Um, <clears throat> you will hear from me in science. However, science I'm keeping for the, science I'm keeping for the Zoom. Science I'm keeping for the Zoom. Phonics video. You will hear from me now next in the phonics video. <laughs>